So how many books have you published now? I've published 43 books. I, I started publishing books in 1967. So I've published a book just about every year ah. since 67. Not including articles, essays? Oh, no, no, I've written hundreds of those. Hundreds, yeah. yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's to make a living. But you also write short articles or short stories for magazines like The New Yorker? So yes, I do, do all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I publish in The New Yorker and various other magazines. But mm -hmm. that's part of my job as a writer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you also review books and you also read book reviews of your books? Yes, I review books. I, d I don't review as many. I used to review books every week. Oh, really? Every week? Yeah. Uh -huh. When I lived in England, I, I uh -huh. did it every week. Uh -huh. I did it, so read a book, it takes a day to read the book. I'd read the book very fast and then yeah. a day to write the review. So that would be two days. Wow. And then the other three days mm. I would be doing my own work. But then when I did that, I would turn the book review and I thought, I used to think, well, that's part of my income. I've made some money this week. Yes. So I have an income yes. and I can. Yes. I felt I could just, that I justified myself by by writing something for money. It's a job, it's a profession, yes. right? It's a yeah. career, right? Yeah. Well, how's your relationship with other book reviewers? Do you, do you like book reviewers who are nasty, who are no. critical? No. No? No, I don't. I, uh, bo book reviewing can be very nasty, as you say. Yeah. And so I don't cultivate book reviewers. And I, if, if, a, if someone reviews a book of mine, yeah. I told you earlier, if someone, if I wrote my autobiography and I got a bad review, so it'd make me very angry. Yeah. So rather than get angry, I don't read the review. You do not read book reviews of your books? Uh, if it's bad, no. And if it's How do you know it's bad until you've read it? I ask people. To, <laughs> yes. It's like a meal. I say, what does that taste <laughs> like? Taste like? <laughs> you be my taster. Yeah. So people say, oh, it wasn't bad. But if you don't believe bad reviews, mm -hmm. then it's hard to believe good reviews. That's right. So, That's right. so you really have to leave the whole thing. What you, what the, the judgment that I trust is the judgment of the reader. Someone who's yeah. not paid to read the book, yeah. someone who buys the book, mm -hmm. reads the book, mm -hmm. and says, I like the book. Mm -hmm. so no one paid that person no, to read right, the book. Right. But so that's he may be influenced by the book review. Um, sometimes that's the case. Sometimes that's the case. Mm -hmm. And when that's the case, I'm glad if, if, mm -hmm. the, if the review has been good. Mm -hmm. But in general, it's wrong to take reviews too seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the countries that you have not visited and you wish to visit, are there still many left? Yes, very, very many. Very yeah. many. Very Where many. would you like to go next? I've never been to Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Bhutan. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Nepal. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in China, but I haven't been all over China. I've been to as many parts of China as I could go. So th there's, there's places that I've been that I would like to return to, mm -hmm. and then there's places that I've never been yeah. that I'd like to see. So Th you plan to visit all those places before you die? I'd like to, yes. You know, mm -hmm. if God <laughs> spares me. Yeah, I, yeah, I would But you like have to, to plan them ahead. You can't just say, wake up one day and say, oh, I'm going to Nepal. Yes, you oh, can. Going, you can? <laughs> yes, you can. You, you can, because I don't have a job. So I can say to my wife, uh -huh. Um, I'm thinking of going to Nepal, and she would say, <laughs> <laughs> for how long? Yeah. But, I, but yeah, then get a map and a book mm -hmm. and read about it. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I could, you could do it. Mm -hmm. Get a visa and go. If you're writing about it, if I'm writing about it, it's slightly different. Uh, I have to be more methodical. Yeah. But to visit a place, yes, I could do it. Yeah, I thought you could, as a book writer, as a famous uh, writer, you can submit a project to your publisher and say, I'd like to go to Nepal. I want to write about Nepal, so, you know, I'm going. Yes, I can do that, you too. You can do that, too, but you don't want to do it. Well, the reason I don't want to do that is that maybe they'll say no. Maybe they'll say, oh, not Nepal, but maybe we'll, you, we'll send you to Denmark. And you don't want to go. Right? I said, no, I don't want to go to Denmark. Yeah, I yeah. want to go to Nepal. Mm -hmm. And they said, no, no, you have to go to England. Uh, yeah. So one of the things in my life that I've tried to avoid is asking permission I to see. do something. So if you don't have a job, you never have to, have to ask someone's permission to yeah. do it. So I never wanted to put myself in a position where I had to say, mm -hmm. may I do this? Because I don't want someone to say no. But because you're such an accomplished writer, I'm sure you have some publishers with whom you have very good relations, who have great trust in you, and whatever you want to do, whatever country you want to visit and write a book about will certainly sell. So I would say, anywhere you want to go, Paul, just go. We will take care of that. No? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes <laughs> that happens. No? 
but <laughs> but some, but I remember one time I, I wanted to go to Africa, and the publisher said, I said, I'm thinking of going to Africa, and they said, people aren't interested in Africa. Afri books about Africa don't sell. Yeah, yeah, that's what they would say. Yeah. So that's what you don't want to hear. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.